Christmas time again, time simply flies. Yeah, I remember Christmas as the birth of this Jesus Christ. Having journeyed so far, now I look at Christmas differently. When Jesus is born within our hearts, then it is Christmas. I am reminded of a story, the story of our sex. Thomas Edward Lawrence, or T.E. Lawrence, was born in 1888 and was famous for his exploits of British military to Arab revolt during World War II. And he got the name Lawrence of Arabia. He wrote his Arabian adventures in seven pillars of wisdom. He invited his Arab friends, the sheikhs, to his country, England. They had a wonderful time there. And on the last day of the trip, Lawrence offered anything they can take back with them to their desert homes. The sheikhs had one thing in their mind. They rushed to Lawrence's bathroom and pointed to the faucet sitting there. They thought that it would provide running water in their desert homes. Little did they know it was just a piece of jewellery and it was attached to a geyser that provided hot water. So, remember friends, it's not the faucet that's important. It's the water behind it. Things that are not visible to the human eyes but are there nonetheless. I don't want to minimize the importance of vessels though because God needs faucets too. God has worked with a lot of human vessels and has chosen the most unlikely human vessels to work with. Take the case of Moses. He stuttered, but he was able to lead the horde of Nazarites to the promised land. David, the mere child, took on the humongous Goliath and won. This Christmas, let's not just be gilded faucets, but faucets that allow living water to flow through them. For that, Jesus needs to be born within our hearts. When living waters flow through us, then it is truly Christmas. Merry Christmas!